Hi guys, hope you're doing well. Uh, in this uh, uh, lecture, I'm going to explain that how you can use dynamic light box in Petro along with the group name. Uh, for example, uh, you can see that I used here um, light box for the main image and then further for the reference image i also use this light box now uh, wh what is the main thing the main thing is that i want that when i click on this element these three are also visible uh, uh, in, at the bottom at uh, uh, here for example i want when i click on this then these three options are available uh, to be um, uh, to be in view. For example, I click on this one, but I didn't get any of these these three options. So basically, when uh, you are using the static light box, so the main thing is to link this one with the this group is simply that assign a name. For example, here I assign a group name with the name of main, and again the same name I am going to assign uh, the second light box. When I assign the name, uh, same name to the second light box, it means that this picture is grouped along with these three one. So let's see. For example, when, now when I'm going to explain, click on this one, now you can see that there is not only the three options, but there are also four more options. So from where these four more options are coming, so I'm going to explain this main point in this lecture. For example, when you click on it, then these four more images are coming from the second item. You know what? Because, because you are using the dynamic CMS and when you assign a group name to this item, it is automatically applied to other items. So basically the group main is here. It is also linked with these three and this same group is assigned with this one and with these three. Now what I want, I want that when I click on this one, I don't want to see the other items um, images um, in the bottom. I just want to preview this one and these three in, uh, in that case. And in the second item case, I want that when I click on this one, I want to see these three images in the preview mode uh, or in the pop up. So how I can achieve uh, this one in Webflow, let's uh, start this tutorial. So again, simple by clicking, you can see I'm not, uh, I am the, I'm unable to see only the three options that is linked with the first item, but also uh, um, uh, I'm saying, uh, also you can see here the four more options that is coming from the second item and that is not the desired result. So how can I achieve the desired result? But how I can achieve the desired result that when I click on this element, only these three options are available. And when I click the second uh, element, only these three options are available. So let's start it. Basically, you have to uh, change the name of this main. Uh, for example, here, uh, you just uh, assign uh, the name using um, some dynamic element so that uh, they can be link, uh, linked, uh, linked group name will be different for each item. So how you can achieve this, you can simply click it and then on the uh, collection item, just go to the custom attribute and then in the custom attribute you uh, have to uh, enter the um, uh, attribute with the name of the wfu lightbox group and then assign the name by using the dynamic one for example slug you 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 know that slug is different for every element so um, basically i am assigning this group dynamically every item will have a different name with the name of slug as slug is different for all, all the items so basically uh, by uh, doing this or by assigning this attribute, what I'm doing, I'm doing, I am assigning different group name to diff uh, two different elements. So uh, the first point is this. And the second point is um, we have uh, some uh, two to three line of codes. Uh, we basically refer and de-refer the groups. So I will, I will provide this, um, uh, this uh, code uh, in my comment box and you can just copy and paste it and uh, see the magic. So simply, these are the two main steps. Number one is the sum code, which you have to place in your head part of the uh, website, and then this uh, attribute. And simply assign uh, the name main to only uh, first link box, and then det detach it uh, from the second one. There is no need uh, to apply any group name to the second one. Just apply it to the main one. And uh, so step number one, assign the group name to the main one. Uh, write some code in the head part. And then uh, in the collection item, uh, just select this collection item and apply this attribute. So these three steps and you can see the result. So let's move to the live site. And here you can see that when I click, now I am able to see only the three options for this one. One is the main and other three are 